On Friday, September 13th, the 5th Annual Moonshine Music and Makers Festival kicked off in downtown Pikeville on Main Street. Local alcohol, food, and craft vendors lined up to show off their wares and give people a good time over the weekend. The festival will extend to Saturday and has something to offer for everyone. We're thrilled with the turnout of our vendors and our moonshine distilleries. We have four different distilleries and uh, spirit vendors on hand. We have Polly Hollow, which is our, uh, our great friend Josh Martin from Forest Hills. He has set up our friends from Letcher County and Kentucky Mist. They're here. Dueling Barrels is here. And our friends from 1620 in Prestonsburg, they're a bourbon distillery. And it, they're just incredible. And it's all local. It's all Eastern Kentucky based. So we're thrilled with that turnout. And then we have so many uh, craft craft vendors, homemade jams and jellies, uh, really cool um, artwork, some wood crafters, some leather workers, so some really, really interesting booths that you can take part in as you stroll along Main Street in downtown Pikeville. Hideaway novelties, smoke and vape, coal run, Caney, South Williamson, journey into the extraordinary today at the 21 and over shop in town. The festival also features a free quilt show going on at the Appalachian Center for the Arts. Several generations worth of handmade stitching can be seen on display on the second floor. One of our favorite things that we're doing this year and is truly the epitome of what we consider Appalachian crafting to be is our Quilting in the Mountains quilt show. And that is on display free of charge at the Appalachian Center for the Arts on 2nd Street. It's in their upstairs gallery space. There are about 26 quilts on display and then a lot of different other wonderful creations from duffel bags, Christmas tree skirts, teddy bears, uh, pillows, a lot of different things that uh, quilters have worked so hard on and certainly uh, one of those crafts that we in Appalachia definitely appreciate. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.